Formula One race is starting in Singapore in a couple of days. Let's make a car racing game using Scratch. First, let's draw a background. We already have green color here, which looks just nice. Let's do this. Next, we're going to draw a oval using gray color. So let's change the color here. Okay, and choose the circle, then we draw oval. Move the oval to the center of the background. Okay, and we all know that racing tracks are not exactly oval, so we can choose this reshape and we just drag some of the points to make it nicer. After that, we can duplicate this shape and make it smaller. We need to choose select, then we can make it smaller and move it to the center. You can see the racing tracks are still a bit too narrow, so let's make it even smaller. Now it looks fine. The inner oval, let's change it back to green color. And we need a starting point, so let's choose a line and draw a line here. You can see this line is very thin and it's black color. So let's go to select, choose this line. And we're going to change it to red color and make it thicker. Okay, so this is a line. We're going to duplicate this line and move one of them to the left side and change this line to blue color. Okay, let's just adjust our lines to make it look nicer. Okay, why do we need two lines? The red line is our starting point. So our car will leave from the starting point. It must pass the blue line and then come back to red line. That's considered one lap. If we don't have the blue line, if the car just passing the red line and then make a small circle come back, that's not one lap. Okay. So that's our racing track. Let's delete the first background. Okay. Now we don't need a cat, we need a car. So let's remove the cat. I'm going to upload an image of a car. Oh, this car is huge. So let's change it size to 10. So this is going to be our car. And I wanted to start from here and it should face upwards. Now let's look at how to write the code. The car will move based on the user press different keys. So we go to events. When some key is pressed, let's choose up arrow. When up arrow is pressed, I want the car to go forward. So I'll move five steps. Now duplicate this. When down arrow is pressed, I'll move backwards. Now duplicate this. When left arrow is pressed, instead of move, I'll turn left five degrees. Duplicate this one. When right arrow is pressed, instead of turn left, I'll turn right five degrees. Okay, so this is how the car moves. So let's go to events. When green flag clicked, I want the car to start from this location. So go to motion, go to this location and point in direction zero. Okay, so it's starting from here. If we want to keep track of time, we need to use something called timer. So go to sensing. You can see there's a timer here. Click this checkbox. You can see the timer is here. But this timer has too many digits. I don't need to know so many digits. I just want to know how many seconds. So I'll go to variables, make a variable called seconds. I will set seconds to go to operations, round of timer. Okay, so put it here. Now let's restart. Now this line only sets the seconds to timer once, but we need to keep doing this. So we will duplicate this line. We will continue to do this until the car passes the blue line, 
then goes back to the red line. So we need to use a loop. Repeat until, so we go to sensing, touch color, and we're going to pick the color of the blue line. Okay. Now this loop we will repeat again. So let's duplicate. But this time is when the car touch the color of the red line. Okay, so let's put it here and put it here. Once the car finished these two loops, that means the car completed one lap. We want to tell the player how many seconds the car used. So we'll go to looks and say something. Okay, what I want to say, we want to say, um, we're going to type some words, but we also need this seconds number. So we need to go to operations and we need to use something called join. Join. So we'll put congratulations. You completed the lab. We're going to put a number of seconds. So we need another join and go to variables. The first thing will be seconds and second, then followed by the unit. Okay, let's try this. Okay, let's move this below. Okay, so we'll say congratulations, you completed that in. In, let's give a space in how many seconds. We need a space before this as well. Now let's try. Okay, congratulations, you completed lab in 39 seconds. Okay, we don't want the timer to be here. It's annoying. So let's go to sensing and we just uncheck the timer. So we only have the seconds. Okay, so that's how the car racing game is created.